I saw you chase him out of the building. Amazing. You know, turns out Miz was right. What do you mean? When he put me with you for down up, down up, but with arrows, I figured it was some kind of rib. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Let me finish. Turns out, we make a pretty good team. Yeah. Yeah, we do. But still, after the outcome of tonight's match, I kind of feel bad about getting Xavier's show canceled. Come on, this is all part of Miz's plan and it's working. And besides, we just eliminated the competition. His audience is- I know this was all technically legal, but legal and right aren't necessarily the same thing. Believe me, I know. Well, if that isn't the beginning to a long story, maybe you could tell me all about it. Over dinner? We could do that. But I was thinking of going to a late night showing of that new Roman Reigns movie. Really? Really? Did you know he was the longest reigning undisputed WWE Universal Champion ever? You are absolutely toxic. Yep. Come on. I don't want to miss the previews. Let's go. I would not do this for anyone else. What's up, Dark Horse? I'm glad you're here. You look like a man who would appreciate the opportunity of a lifetime. Wouldn't everybody appreciate the opportunity of a lifetime? I don't know. I haven't asked everybody. Fair enough. Okay. So what's the opportunity? This has got everything. Exotic locale, untold riches, once-in-a-lifetime experiences, and everything is for a really important cause. Any one of those things by itself will probably be enough to say yes. Yeah, that almost sounds too good to be true. That's because it is. Most of that stuff I just made up. I was trying to spark your interest, but I am offering you a chance to help an important cause. All you have to do is come to SmackDown in Wisconsin a day early and do a charity match to help a great organization that helps find seeing-eyed people to care for blind dogs. You sure that's right? Usually the people are blind. Blind people and blind dogs? I guess they could bond over their shared experience, but no one's gonna know where they're going. We better get up there fast. You in? Yeah. I'm sure whatever this cause really is, it helps someone who needs it. An extra day of travel for a good cause? Hm. What could go wrong? Oh, lots of stuff. Flat tire? You can forget to pack your underwear, could run out of gas, but we're taking a plane. I always remind the pilots to fill up, and I'm almost positive they sell underwear in Wisconsin. So, I think we're good. See you there. Sounds good, Truth. The snow really coming down out there, huh? Yeah. So, what happened to the charity match? Don't you remember we were just talking about the snow coming down? Only an idiot would travel in this weather. None of the dogs or the people could make it. We've got SmackDown in a couple of hours, and there's only a couple of other wrestlers here. We won't even have a crowd tonight. I know. Troy just texted. He and Miz are stuck in Chicago. I'm not sure when they might get here. That's what I was afraid of. Sounds like we have no choice but to fall back onto the line of secession. And as the longest tenured locker room member and fifth in line to run things, I am in acting protocol 48 and naming myself acting GM. What are you talking about? Protocol 48? Did, did you just make that up? Yes, but as my first order of business as acting GM, I'm writing protocol 48, which names the acting GM in charge of everything. I had a strange feeling this was going to happen when I heard Miz was stuck in Chicago. So I went ahead and pulled the locker room, and everyone agreed they really wanted title shots. I bet they did. I guess part of being in charge is saying no. Why would I say no? I can't look like I'm playing favorites on my first day on the job. I run a democratic administration, and the people have voted. What? I fly in early to help you in some charity out, and this is the thanks I get? Charity isn't about what you get. It's about what you give. And first up, 
you'd be giving Robert Roode a title shot. And since everyone is trying to dig their way out of the snow, it's going to be a shovels match. By the way, how do you think I'm doing so far as GM? I think this will be one of the most amazingly bad situations in the history of WWE. I stopped listening at amazing. Good luck out there, champ. Silence the crowd, but the roar of champions will echo in the arena as interim GM R-Truth has deemed every match tonight will be a title showdown. And we're kicking it off with a shovels match? It's really too bad we're the only ones to see this live. They should make the loser clear the sidewalk outside so we can actually get some fans in here to enjoy this. He'll head to the ring. Oh! Ah, uh, shovel wrapped around the head. Boom! Every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. He went for the shovel, and this might just turn from a match to a burial. Rude would stand much more of this. Rude needs to find a spark. And proving a bit slippery for them there. Oh, and a knee to the face. Rude able to evade. He must have had that scouted. Oh, anus knee to the face. And Rude looked a little less than glorious after that move. And Rude reverses. Rude's pushing back now. Rude's tipping the scales a bit here. Wow, springboard attack. Shot to the face gets them out of that spot. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Russian leg sweep. Not done there. Rapid fire rights over and over. He just isn't being given any room to recuperate. Yeah, the defects in this game are leaving him vulnerable. Oh man, clocked with that shovel. The face of Robert has taken about all it can take. Just one right after the other can't be stopped. Quick thinking pays off. He's trying to bring the fight back in this one. Shot to the back of the neck. Pow, what a shot. And he's able to fight Rudolph. Oh, what a close line. And a kick. Oh, he retaliates. Boom, and a big boot. He has Root in his grasp. DDT! The champ will stay champ. One. There's two! It's over! Retains the title! Here is your winner, and Steve! Dark Horse, thanks for coming in. I was hoping you had a minute to discuss your performance review. You have a suit? I always have a suit with me every time I travel. What if the hotel has a pool? Did you forget yours? I might have an extra, or else we can always take turns. I meant the suit you're wearing. Oh, this? Once I became GM, I started reading up on some business concept. One tip was, dress for the job you want, not the job you have. So while you were in the ring, I was looking to see if there was an astronaut suit laying around. I struck out on that front, but I found this baby in MVP's locker and thought maybe I should put it on so I could look more authoritative. Luckily, MVP said it didn't fit him too well, so he didn't mind if I borrowed it. What do you think? That I shouldn't have agreed to come on this trip with you. That grouchy attitude is exactly why I wanted to have this performance review. I'm looking for team players. You know teamwork makes the dream work. This is a nightmare. That's spirit. Now make sure you keep that mentality when you get out there for your next title defense. While I was looking around for the astronaut suit, I noticed something. The aisle numbers go in order. 11, 12, 13. Also, with no people in the arena, this place is really big. 
So for your next match, I want you and Chad Gable to really explore the space. Just like two astronauts, except there will be gravity. Uh, thanks for making that clear. No problem. As long as I'm GM... Balls count anywhere title match against Chad Gable. All because our GM is a borrowed suit-wearing space cadet. Maybe someday. Balls count anywhere match? GM R-Truth is creating an inspired slate of matches under unique circumstances. Inspired? And R-Truth? Come on, I wouldn't trust him to lead ants to a picnic. Seems like the blizzard outside is nothing compared to the storm brewing inside, backstage, and in every corner of this arena. Oh, my goodness, what a knee strike. Knee strike connects. No mercy being shown to Gable here. Gable has to gather the energy to turn the tables. to the face the challenger eating up some damage the unpredictable nature of this match can help turn the tides though harlem sidekick oh what a forearm oh ouch connects on the kick nasty knee No. What a cross body. Throwing all costs into the wind and leaping to the outside. Ugh, gets put into the barricade. Ooh, look at him seizing the momentum here. He's looking relentless. Oh, vicious running knee lift. He switches it back around. Chad Gable with a German suplex, not done yet, has not released. Arm still claps around the waist. A second German suplex. Nice. Gonna see a new champ. Makes the cover. The count was stopped before it started. He didn't even let the ref start the count. And we all know how Gable gets when things don't go his way. Hopefully he can focus on getting the job done instead of complaining about the referee's count. The challenger not looking good right now. I was pumped when I saw this match on tonight's card, but so far this Falls Count Anywhere match yeah. has exceeded all of my expectations. Oh, yeah. Off the barricade! Oh no, what could this be? Oh, don't do this. Hung up on the barricade! Get up, Man. big boot! Oh, vicious running knee lift. Oh! Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Punch him in the chest. Someone's going to get hurt. Oh, right on the barricade. Gut first. Uh-oh, ankle pick. Beautiful takedown. Oh. Knee crusher. That's going to hurt. Perched on the shoulders. Oh. Boom. Feast your eyes. A championship a level move. Ring the bell. The champion retains. Match out there, champ. Can you believe just a few hours ago there were people saying I wasn't suited to be a GM? Yes, people like me. And we were right. I agree. That's why I took the suit off. Turns out being a GM is pretty tedious. It's mostly just logistics. And those are my third least favorite kind of sticks. But while I was bored in my office, I was watching you out there. And I was thinking that you look pretty tired. I wonder why. Probably because of the two title matches. But there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, 
I figured you being dead tired might mean this is my best chance to beat a dead horse. And since I'm in charge and there's no audience, I'm taking you on in a 24-7 style match for the title. Starting right now. Well, not literally right now, but in a few minutes backstage. See you there. Just keep coming. A 24-7 match for the WWE Universal title. Interim SmackDown GM R-Truth is rewriting the rules left and right. He might have a future in management after all. Oh, runs right into the table. He's got a plan for that table, and it does not involve a dinner party. Up and down, what a slam. Turning the tables. Oh, nothing fancy with that boot. Oh, man. Ouch. Running knee lift. Oh, man. Oh, kick connects. Oh, with authority. Oh, my gosh, what impact. Oh my gosh! No! Oh! oh! Evades their offense. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Oh! Well placed kick. There's a Russian leg sweep. These will keep you down. Oh, what impact. Oh, my God. Ooh. 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 Oh, God. Knee to the midsection. <laughs> Left foot hospital, right foot graveyard. Up across the shoulders, down Bang. and out. We've already seen a few shots delivered up in that region. Cover! One, two, three. And the champ stands tall once again.